We present a system for designing reconfigurable objects. Reconfigurable objects are found in many walks of life, from small apartments to kitchens that rearrange based on when it's prep time or eating time, or even functional furniture that take on various shapes based on its mode of usage. Reconfigurables have different states, and this makes design of such objects rather challenging. We piggyback on existing geometric modeling packages like Maya, and only provide a bare-bones interface similar to traditional spline-based animation editing. Here we design a picnic table that can double as a bench. The geometry of the picnic table is designed in an application like Maya, and the choreography or the motion is designed in our tool using our design interface for animating the keyframes. Let's add additional elements to our picnic table. Once we've added additional elements such as these armrests, it can be hard to determine when and where any collisions may have occurred without any feedback. It can be a tedious process to not only find when collisions are happening, but also where they are happening. This requires the user to iteratively scrub through the timeline many times for various different viewpoints to determine if the objects are in collision. Live feedback makes this much easier. Our system highlights in the timeline when collisions occur during the choreography. Additionally, the system highlights by use of coin boxes where collisions are happening. This makes it easy for the user to both pinpoint the exact spatial and temporal location of a collision. Once we've pinpointed some collisions, let's try to resolve them. Without interactive visual feedback of collision regions, it can be a tedious process to resolve collisions as making edits at one particular instance in time does not always guarantee resolution in others. This requires the user to continuously scrub through the choreography and make edits at individual frames. Furthermore, adding insult to injury, additional collisions can be caused by these edits, which the user is kept completely unaware of. Live feedback, again, makes this much easier. Our method provides interactive visual feedback of the effects of user edits on the choreography. Once a good view is found, the user can make the appropriate edits and keep watch over the timeline to ensure that collisions are resolved throughout the offending regions. When at a loss, the system can nudge the user in the right direction. By providing guiding hints, the task of editing motions to resolve collisions becomes significantly easier. Once a hint is presented, the user can scrub through a slider tool to update the choreography based on the system hint until collisions are resolved by keeping watch of the timeline. Note that if no collision feedback is provided, the user would have to continuously change views in time to ensure that all configurations in time are free of collisions. Collisions can also be resolved by modifying the shape of objects. In addition to repositioning objects in space-time to resolve collisions, we also provide primitive geometric editing tools. Again, live collision feedback allows the user to quickly fix intersecting regions without continuously changing views. These editing tools can easily be integrated into higher-order shape editing methods such as eye wires that allow for symmetric edits desired in this case to duplicate the edit onto the other armrest. Sometimes the collisions themselves can dictate the shape modification. Oftentimes, modifying the geometry to resolve collisions is not only tedious, but also doesn't provide for creative expression, a perfect candidate for automation. We provide the user with the option of treating the motion of the objects as a first-class citizen and have the offending geometry edited to a collision-free state automatically. Here we can either make holes in the seat to make room for the armrest to go through them, or have the armrests automatically shortened so that they do not interfere with the seat. It can often be useful to visualize the choreography of an object at several instances in time. We call this ghosting. This projection of space-time allows the user to make edits and see how those edits affect the motion of the object throughout all of time. Usually edits in shape or choreography can lead to unexpected collisions to occur elsewhere, away from the user's current point of view, and selected time instance. The user is not aware of this collision without the appropriate feedback. Here the user's edits have created a new collision. Our system not only highlights the interesting areas of collision in the timeline view, but also invokes a picture-in-picture -picture view to show the collision that occurs elsewhere. This view can be triggered manually by the user, or automatically by the system when a new collision has occurred during the editing process. The picture-in-picture -picture view pops up on the top right, showing an inset of where the collision has occurred. The timeline view shows a yellow bar that indicates when in time the picture-in-picture -picture view is taking place. This alleviates the user to scrub back and forth in the timeline to get a sense of when and where collision regions happen. Clicking on the picture-in-picture -picture view will swap the main view with the picture-in-picture -picture view so that the user can take a closer look at the offending regions. Edits again can be made and updates are propagated until collisions are resolved. Finding collisions can still remain a challenging task. Oftentimes, collision regions can remain hidden in small nooks and crannies of the scene. Although we highlight collisions with glowing boxes, even these can be occluded and hard to see. The user can press a hotkey and our system will optimize the best camera angle such that the user is able to get a good look at the collision region. 
The system can also help the user to automatically resolve collisions. This alleviates the user from the tedious task of manually making small edits. The collection of these tools allows the user to quickly overview, locate, and resolve collisions, a task that would otherwise be cumbersome and would require constant adjustment of the view and objects in the scene. The key to automatically resolving collisions is to first find a set of good contact normals. As an illustrative example, consider the motion of these two hooks. Naive approaches such as choosing a contact normal at the beginning or end of the collision interval can get stuck without making any progress. Choosing an average of the interval's contact normals can resolve collisions but is semantically distant from the desired solution. Here the hooks don't separate as in the original motion. Our contact normals, on the other hand, provide a solution where the hook moves up and over such that both hooks separate. We use this framework to assist the user in automatically resolving collisions that otherwise would be too cumbersome. Sometimes intricate tight-fitting geometries can cause tedious interactions. Here we have a socket that is inserted into each other, and then rivets that also fit inside each other as they are inserted to the holes created by the socket. Manually adjusting this choreography to be collision-free can be a tedious task, even though the motions themselves need not be too drastic. This is because of the tight interplay between the objects. Making adjustments into one part creates multiple unwanted collisions elsewhere in other parts. This pattern is repeated in such a way that in such tight-fitting spaces, this can become a tedious chore for the user to carry out. Our system alleviates the user from these tedious tasks by using the Auto Resolve button. This button will automatically attempt to resolve all collisions up for all objects in the scene with a simple tap of the button. Here is the final configuration free of all collisions. Since reconfigurables can transition between various different states, an edit in one state may create collisions in others. Here we have moved to table. The graph timeline informs the user that there are now collisions and transitions between 3 and 4 and 3 and 6. We can investigate each of these transitions one by one and resolve collisions therein. We validate our designs by 3D printing some of our collision-free outputs. The original bird puzzle is modified by altering the motion of the pieces as they fit together, as well as adding a new piece that locks the puzzle in place. The final design from our tool, free of all collisions, is validated by 3D printing all the pieces and assembling it together by hand. Together, these tools provide a holistic system that assists the user to locate collisions both in space and time, resolve collisions, and interactively explore the design of reconfigurable objects. Thank you for watching.